If you're ever in a situation where someone's got you pinned up against the wall, whether it's a chokehold or grabbing your shirt, this is how you're gonna escape it. First thing you're gonna do is cross grab to their elbow. From here, you're gonna pull back with your elbow, down and up, and it gets them off balance. From here, you can grab their head and reverse the position on them. And then you go for their elbows, knees, and then you can get out of there. Okay, are you ready? Just one second, actually. Now we'll do it with realistic energy. Okay, Izzy, are you ready? Yeah, just tell me a hug. <laughs> Well, that's bullshit. I'm gonna show you how to escape a chokehold when someone has you pinned up against the wall. So if that's how not to escape it, how do you escape it? Firstly, the fact that you're watching a video on how to escape a front choke tells me that you don't have 9,046 hours to train combatives, Kali, Krav Maga, and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, so we're not going to do any overly complex movements because under adrenal stress, you will forget them. The first thing that's important to note is that it's never going to be this kind of scenario where it's stationary. Because if someone's choking you, it's gonna be due to the fact that they're emotionally charged. You've done something to piss them off. Maybe you mistook their butthole for your butthole while trying to finger yourself, I don't know. But whatever it was, they're angry. So it's much more likely that it's going to look something like this. <laughs> The defense for this doesn't start once my hands are wrapped around her throat. There are many pre-contact cues that come before the actual attack itself which tell you what I'm about to do. My face will start to crunch up because I'm getting angry, my shoulders will come out and I'll start to lunge towards you. But when you recognize these cues, that's your sign to go. That's when you start palm striking, you start eye gouging, you grab onto the back of the neck, you start biting, tearing, ripping, etc. So we'll say that you've missed those cues and now you do find yourself being choked. The second that you find their hands around your throat choking you, your first reaction, unlike unsolicited dick pics from guys named Todd on Tinder, is going to be to grab them. No matter what I tell you, you're gonna end up either here, here, or here, trying to claw these hands away from your throat. Now, if this person is trying to choke you like this, they're probably a lot bigger and stronger than you, so that's not going to work. I'm not gonna tell you to not do this, because no matter how many times they tell you that, you're still gonna do it under pressure in the moment. So you find yourself here trying to claw this away, it's not working. Now we're gonna go do the exact same thing we were gonna do before. Palm strike to the face, grab by the back of the head, jam that thumb in their eye, tear the ears, striking, and then if you can, if they do let up, then you can come in and start biting the ears while still tearing the face, thumbs in the eyes, etc. So now that I've told you what to do and how to escape it, I wanna do it real energy, real speed, so that you can see that it's not necessarily gonna be as easy as it sounds when I'm just describing it. I'm not gonna wear a head guard because I can't find my head guard and I do need to film this video. So she's still gonna hit as hard as she normally would, but uh, I'm going to just, you know, take it, I suppose. So, without further ado, here we go. You know what fucking shits me? I'm walking down the street and you make eye contact with me. You don't even fucking talk to me. That literally makes me feel like I'm a turd that's been shit on by like three fucking fat guys with diarrhea in a row. What the fuck is your problem? That makes me feel like absolute fucking shit. And you don't even fucking say anything. You know what? Fuck you. Yeah, that got me good. No, it was good. It was beautiful. Come, bro. Oh, no, it's just a That's gross. No, that was exactly what I wanted. Thank you so much. Alex, if you're watching this, you are very, very, very fucking good at Taekwondo. That's great. Stick to that shit. Stick to what you're qualified to teach because what you're teaching people in regards to self-defense will get them killed. All you have to do is train this technique with the fucking tiniest bit of resistance to see that it's complete bullshit. Continue to teach Taekwondo, leave the street fighting self-defense behind. Leave that for the people that are qualified to teach it.